Well, I hope England play as well as they did the last time they played uh, Colombia in a competitive match. Gareth Southgate obviously was on the bench at uh, France 98 in Lens when uh, Anderton and Beckham played really well. And there was a sort of momentum and a force behind England then, good players in all the positions. I don't think this England team is as, is as good as that. And I think this Colombian team, particularly if James Rodriguez is fit, you know, they're dangerous. You've seen their quick silver attacks. Ranmal Falcao will probably want to have a point to prove against the English after having... You know, really sort of floated like a ghost through the Premier League and disappeared almost without trace. So uh, it's a really tough game. It's good the game isn't in the afternoon. It was a really hot day and you look at the way that uh, Colombia can use possession and can attack at pace when they need to. Then I would worry slightly about England, even with some of them having eight, nine days rest. Um, I think much for England may depend on Deli Alley whether he's fit because they need a bit more creativity uh, in midfield you saw it in the game against Belgium they lacked it there they don't have a passer they don't I mean Deli Alley can drag the ball deep into enemy territory with, with the skill he's got so he could punish Colombia but Colombia's threat clear that, that pace on the counter and that cutting edge that they've got but, you know they can be got at it's not a great World Cup in terms of any one outstanding team so uh, you know England, England have got a chance you mentioned the word momentum there. Do you think there is a risk with uh, Gareth Southgate's choice for his lineup against Belgium that that momentum could have been lost? We won't know until the final whistle. If Harry Kane is fit and fresh after, what, eight, nine days of, of not playing and he goes out and scores, then Southgate will get manager of the year, probably. If England slip up and uh, Belgium have a comfortable win over Japan, and the thing about Japan, they're a good team. But England, with their set pieces, you would have expected to uh, expect to, to punish Japan. You've covered a number of these tournaments with England over the years. How does this one differ from the others in, in terms of just the feeling and the vibe surrounding this, the squad? The vibe is fantastic. I mean, it's, the, it's the best atmosphere within the camp. You know, they're a nice bunch. I mean, Southgate just looked at all 23 and thought, are they good tourists, as the FA always said? Are they sort of good people to be around? Are they polite around the, the hotel? Do they, do they respect where they come from and they've got a hunger to where they're going to? And I, I think they do. They are a nice bunch, embodied by Harry Kane as a captain.